Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you've stopped by for a visit, thank you so much for joining me. This is just going to be a quick little video where I show you my setup that I'm using for filming. And I want to tell you what's working for me and what's not working for me and what I've been tweaking lately because some things have been giving me issues. So I am fortunate enough to have this great big space to work in, which is awesome. Except it also means I have all these windows. And while it's great for the view, it's not so great for filming. That's probably the biggest issue that I still haven't solved on my filming is lighting. So I am going to build a screen to put behind me and see if that will help a little bit. And I'm investigating a couple of different kinds of lights that I can uh, bring over here rather than using, I've got five set up here right now, plus one more that's not uh, in the picture. And, and it's, it's not, it's okay, but it's not quite right. But that's all right. What is working for me is bringing my laptop over here, hooking it into my hub, and my hub is hooked into my microphone, the monitor, and the webcam. All right, that's not the way it was as, let's see, as recently as, oh, a week and a half ago. I did not have that set up. And I'll tell you why I changed some things. So one of the things I had, well, what I had been doing before for the longest time is taking the easy way out. I had my webcam on my arm and it was mounted right up here and it was just down here where you could see the desktop and you could see whatever I was working on. And that was the easiest thing in the world for me to do because I would just open up my Logic Capture software which really makes, makes it very easy to record and have the files right there on my computer and then I could just upload them to YouTube. That was great. The trouble is, you know, a webcam is convenient, but the quality is not quite the best. So I do have an iPad, but I was not, I didn't have a holder for it and I really didn't want to deal with then transferring things from the iPad to the computer. So I guess I was doing it the easy way. But the iPad came in really handy when I was doing live streams because I decided I wanted to use the webcam for tabletop viewing and then I could use the iPad for people to see my face. So I had a split screen happening and that was super easy to do because when I'm doing my streaming, what I use is something called StreamYard, which is a browser based platform and it's free. They are paid options, but free is perfectly fine. And you could use two devices like that and have a split screen happening. And it was very easy. I would just log into StreamYard on my laptop and that would control the webcam. And then I would log into StreamYard with the iPad and that would control the view on my face. The only problem I had with that was for some reason, even though I would mute the iPad and I would mute it in StreamYard and I would turn it off on the device itself, for some reason, when I went live, the iPad would turn itself back on to about a quarter of the volume, so I would get an echo happening. But that was easily solved by just getting a little uh, adapter to plug into the headphone jack, and it thought it had headphones in, and there was no echo anymore. So that was great. But the next problem I started having was the chat. The whole point of the live streams, as far as I'm concerned, is to be able to chat with all the different people that come to visit with me. And I was really having a hard time because the chat was on the laptop and I was working here at the desk. So I would have to go back and forth and back and forth. Sorry if I made anybody dizzy there. So hooking up another monitor where I had the same screen showing up in both places and on the big monitor, when I have a live stream going on, I just make that all chat. And I, all I have to do is look up. I, none of this neck twisting, none of this contortions that I have to do, it's awesome. I really, if it's, a, if it's a way that you can set something up like that, for me it was a big game changer. Then, what I decided was I really, it was very frustrating. I was using the webcam to record what was happening on the tabletop and I was using the iPad to record my face. So that meant you had really high quality on my face, which... Okay, maybe you like seeing my smiling face, but you maybe didn't like to see it quite so much. The webcam, when you're looking at my project, you're looking at my dyed fabrics, you're looking at my threads, you're looking at my papers. 
and it was just kind of, it was okay, but it, you could obviously see the difference in the quality. So I really wanted to up the quality of the videos of the art that I was working on. Now, my most recent video has a much nicer quality. Nature's Whisper has a much nicer quality, and that's because I recorded it with my phone, which is what I did when I was first starting out on YouTube, and I had stopped for a couple of reasons. I figured out a way to make that a little bit easier now. So I switched back to my phone, but first I had to figure out how to hang my phone so that I could do it like this. The trouble is this desk is huge. It's like one of those old teacher principal desks, you know, big old oak desk. I love it. I can pound on it. I can't hurt it, but it's big, which means for the clamp to go over there, I needed to have something that was going to stretch farther than most of the swing arms did. And what I love about this one, okay, I can, I can move this all over the place. So I can move this at the end of the day. I can move this completely out of my way. But I did find this arm that has a very, very long arm. It's the only one I was able to find that had such a long arm. So I will put a link to it in the description box in case it's the sort of thing that you might be looking for. So I did that, but <laughs> you might say, Susan, why do you have this funny little thing hanging down here when you have a perfectly good phone holder up here? That is because for whatever reason, this thing only turns part way. It does not turn enough that I can get it set up for my phone to be in the horizontal landscape mode. I don't know why, but brute force, I couldn't make it happen. And I just decided, you know what? I could take this out of my ring light and do here and it, it works just fine. So that's my setup. I have the swing arm, I love it. My mic is plugged in, I never have to do anything to the mic, it's just everything's all set up. As soon as I plug in the laptop, it's live. Uh, the monitor works. The image that you're seeing on the monitor is one of my torn paper collages, that's called Dream Girl. And if you have any questions, um, let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Otherwise, if you haven't already joined the Facebook group, Poppiness and Friends, I hope you'll consider coming over there and hanging out with us. It's just an extension of the live stream where we can talk about our creative efforts, not just junk journals, any kind of art making, craft making, photography. You know, if you're a maker, we'd love to have you join us. And I think that's all I've got for you today. I will see you next time. My next video when I'm making something that I haven't figured out what I'm going to make next. Bye-bye for now.